Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. This time we want to talk about how we connect sensors. Alright, so we have some sort of sensor. This sensor, uh, well, the task of the sensor is to, to get uh, some data. Uh, usually, or in modern sensors, we have the case that inside the sensor, it, it's not only the sensor, but there is also a uh, the amplifier already built in and the output of the sensor is already some impressed signal 4 to 20 milliamps or something like that. Huh? But I will show it now with a sensor and an amplifier. Huh? That we stick to our to our way, let's call it. Uh, so, here we said there is a sensor signal coming uh, and the amplifier might power supply the sensor as well. This was what we, what we usually discussed. So, what is now, what are the possibilities? Well, one possibility is indeed looking like that. We have somewhere the sensor device, uh, somewhere the other device, I call it now the other device. Because this might, if the, if the amplifier is already built in the sensor, this might already be a display device or something like that. It's pretty much the same. Uh, we have two possibilities, as we have, we have indeed Looking like that, we have here one connector, here a second connector, here we have one connector and here a second connector. Then we have two wires. One of these wires is plus, one of these wires is minus. This is the power supply. And where is the signal now? Where is the signal? Where is the signal? Well, the signal is the strength, for instance, power supply is 24 volts, or usually there's a range from 13 to 36 or something like that, yeah? very usual, and the, the, the signal is the current. Yeah? So here we could have current signal. Yeah? This thing is called a two-wire connection. It's only for current signals. Huh? Because if we have here the power supply, the power supply will not change, right? So the only thing you can imagine, the sensor is somehow choking the, the current. Right? And the current is measured here and is displayed. Two wire connection. Usually it's also with living zero, so usually it's a 4 to 20 milliamp signal because this sensor usually needs some power on its own, so we use the first 4 milliamps for powering the sensor. Good, so two wire connection. What else would be possible? Another possibility is three wire connection. Yeah. This device again, this device again. And since the name already suggests it, we have three wires. So we have three ports here, also here three ports. One wire, second wire, third wire. Yeah. What are now the signals? Here we have plus and minus. So two of these are power supply huh? and a reference voltage. Minus is usually the reference voltage and then we have an S for signal. Here the signal is this, but this might be now a current signal, then there is a current. Huh? 
between those two. Yeah? This is the common common minus, yeah? common ground for signal and plus, or this might also be a voltage signal. This thing is here is called three wire connection. Here we have separated power supply. and signal line with com common reference. So zero volt and minus is for both the same. This might be. Here I can do current signals, I can do voltage signals, I can do bipolar signals, I can do well, every signal I, I can imagine, all right? And if this is disturbing, yeah, because, you know, maybe, maybe you need some separation between the signal ground and the, the power supply ground, then you could use four-wire connection. This device, measurement device, the other device yeah. and four wire connection like the name suggests four ports one two three four one two three four here we have the four lines the four wires and here we are fully separated that's what this is yeah so we have a power supply plus and minus And we have a signal plus and a signal minus. Okay. So here we have the power supply and the, the signal lines separated. This is sometimes a good idea. Like I said, not always connecting those two minuses is a good idea. Huh? So for wire connection. fully separated power supply and signal lines. So these three things would be the usual uh, possibilities. Uh, Two-wire connection, quite common. Yeah, like I said, for the 20 milliampere signal is the is the one yeah, which is can be driven with this. With these, I can drive whatever we want. Yeah, so we can also use bipolars, voltage minus 10 to 10 volts, 0 to 10 volts, 2 to 10 volts, this usual or current. Yeah, minus 20 to plus 20 milliamps, and so on. Yeah, so here I'm more free my choice huh? and here I've even separated the minuses yeah so that's that's the sensor connection okay next uh, time we are going to talk about display devices huh? different different display devices so yeah Next video we're talking about analog displays and digital displays. What is the difference? What are the benefits and so on? Is one ancient and one modern? We will see. Yeah. So next time display devices this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.